So I'm Saranga, I'm the CEO and founder of Blinks. Um, as you know, uh, Blinks is the video search engine. Um, so you know, for those who haven't come across this before, um, what we do is we spider the entire internet looking for video content. We don't care on what site, we don't care what the content's about uh, or what format it is, it's in. Um, our technology basically finds it and then most uniquely processes it to understand what's going on inside their content. So rather than just read the um, text descriptions, the titles, the metadata, we use things like speech recognition and visual analysis to actually have the computers watch and listen to the video. So we know exactly what's going on inside the content. And um, what that means is that when you come to blinks.com and search for any topic you're interested in right now, we can find videos for you that match that topic, um, that are highly relevant to that topic of interest, and we can bring those back to you. So you can click on them and go and watch them. Um, and that's the core business. So we run blinks.com so you can do that on our own site but we also power video search behind the scenes for other people too so if you go to ask.com for example um, and do a video search the engine that's behind all of that that's powering that search experience is actually blinks um, and then basically from a business perspective we're an ad business so we have a huge audience of people doing this every day across our own site and all these partner sites and as a result we have a very large audience of tens of millions of unique users every single month um, and we sell advertising against that audience. Um, one of the really nice things about the advertising is that we use our search technology to try and target the ads. So if you're watching a video about a particular topic, you will hopefully, likely, see ads that are highly relevant to that video. That's great from a user perspective. It means that you're not getting irrelevant ads that waste your time. It's also, of course, great from an advertiser perspective because it means you're being able to engage um, people or consumers who might actually care about your product. Um, so that's the core business and that's what we do. What's, what's the buzz here? Obviously, we're at the OTT Con. Yeah. What's the buzz that you've heard and what, yeah. in terms of blinks, how are you finding this beneficial to your business? Yeah. So OTT Con is interesting because on the one hand, its premise is really obvious. I think all of us in the industry, in fact, frankly, anyone who's interested in computers, has been you know, used to this idea of one day TVs will have an internet connection for a long time. You know, there are companies that talked about this 10, 12 years ago. Um, so the idea is not new. And <coughs> you know, in a way, I would argue there's nothing that much new at OTT Con. It's the same concept. You know, one day you will have a TV that's connected to the internet and you'll be able to do all these amazing things with it. What's different is the momentum that that idea is gaining. Um, we were at the show about six months ago and it was a decent show and it had some success but it, it, it probably had about a quarter of the people that are here today. It's phenomenal you know? and the reason for that is because the reality of that connected television universe is just getting ever closer. You know, More and more of us have watched videos on our televisions now that have come from the internet. More and more of us are thinking of that as part of our purchasing process when we buy a TV or when we buy some kind of set-top box or games console and so I think it's, it's this rev sort of evolution we we've seen and, and the fact that it's gathering speed that makes it most interesting. From a Blinks perspective, you know, we look at the TV as the screen or one of the screens of the future. You know, today the vast, vast majority of our business and most of our audience uses our system through a computer screen. They go to a laptop or a desktop. But in the future, I don't know if it's two years or five years, I think a lot of people will actually do it and access it straight through a television screen. So we've got to be there. We still offer a very relevant service, so we think you'll want to, you'll want to see us there, but it's important for us to make sure we build the right partnerships so that our service is available through all these different devices. Let me ask you, I heard a lot about video discovery, less about search because the search seems more antiquated. Yeah. Could you talk a bit about that? About Video discovery. Yeah, definitely. Um, search and discovery are two sides of the coin, right? So on the one hand, they never see each other. Um, on the other hand, they're on the same coin. Um, so it, it's one of these sort of classic cases where things can be so closely interrelated, yet so far apart. Um, and I think it's all down to the nature of what the user or the consumer is doing at a given point in time. When you go to your computer and you're after information and you're in that kind of you know, investigative journalist mode temporarily, then you go to a Google or a Blink and you lean forward and you start typing in what it is you want. You're willing to add words, subtract words, play around with different tools and features and functions to get exactly what it is you're looking for. And we see that on our site all the time. You know, People are very advanced in how they use our system to find whatever it is they're looking for. And I'm sure that Google Google or Yahoo or Microsoft will tell you the same thing about text search. Now, in the case of television, sometimes that's also the case. There are times when you are looking for a specific thing. You know, I, I'll give you an example. I was at a party recently and 
we were talking about a particular song and a particular artist and it turned out that half the people in, in the party had never seen this artist before and you know one of my friends who happened to have a connected TV pulled up the keyboard did a search directly on that computer on that on that television brought up one of the songs and played it so we were all watching on the show that's a great example of where search still works really well even on a TV but there are many other cases on television when actually it's about relaxation it's about leading back it's about turning the turning the box on and leaning back on the sofa and having entertainment come to you you know we all know what it's like when you get in after a hard day of work and you feel like you're spending too much time trying to decide what to watch it gets really frustrating you just wish there was something good to watch immediately and so that's where discovery comes in discovery is about knowing enough about you and knowing enough about content to figure out that you know without any choices here's what you probably want to watch right now and it's a mixture of you know what's hot generally in the market what are your friends watching what have you watched before do you like comedy or romance you know, all these things and I think that will all become, play an incredibly important role in this shift from you know computers which are very very much a lean forward experience to TV which is at least partially a lean back experience as well um, from a, again from a Blink's perspective I think what we do is very relevant here you know whether you use a search to find a video piece of video or whether that piece of video is recommended to you um, you know ultimately the best way to do that whether to find it through search or, or discover it through discovery is to understand what the content is really about and to do that you need clever technology to understand what video really means and that's really what we do. Great. Thank you very much. Yeah.